close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. You know, it's been a while since there was any new Star Wars content to make fun of, and I was getting a little lonesome without it. But the trailer to the Acolyte finally dropped, and what a trailer it was! To say it was everything I expected would be an understatement. The show is just the latest in a long line of disasters to come out of Disney's Star Wars. But can this show save Disney and Bob Iger? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the dumpster fire that is Disney's Star Wars. I think at this point it's fair to say that the Star Wars franchise has died a sad and pathetic death at the hands of the evil Darth Kathleen Kennedy and her merry band of progressive trolls. But they keep putting out TV shows so that their failing streaming service can maintain some semblance of respect. Wait, what? Did I say respect? Wow, yeah, my bad. Disney lost its last shred of dignity right at about the moment they turned Luke into a disgusting curmudgeon to elevate amazing girl boss Rey to Skywalker status. But the trailer to The Acolyte finally dropped and showed everyone what we all knew was going to be the case. Just another girl boss narrative here. The Acolyte is the first live action iteration of some other period other than the Skywalker saga. The Acolyte is set at the end of the High Republic era in what they call a world of shadowy secrets and emerging dark powers. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would say this was some terrible fan fiction written by a confused middle schooler. But I guess this is what passes for good writing in modern Hollywood these days. I'm not really sure why they're even bothering releasing this garbage after they've seen all the complete disaster that became the MCU. 2023 was not a kind year to Disney. By the time the Marvels came out, they saw the writing on the wall. They could have completely started from scratch with the Acolyte, but they're basically quadrupling down on the same nonsense that's lost the company billions of dollars. Honestly, Nelson Peltz and the proxy fight can't come soon enough. As a Disney stockholder, I already put my vote in, and I think you can tell which way I voted. But suffice it to say, we're still going to get at least this show, because Disney hasn't put Star Wars on pause like they have with Marvel. I guess the one bright spot is Carrie Ann Moss. Damn, my girl Trinity is still rocking it at 56 years old. She might just be as immortal as her Matrix co-star Keanu Reeves. But anyway, I digress. The trailer reveals very little, but from what we know, it follows an investigation into a series of murders of Jedi Knights. If this turns into a police procedural, I give up. While the High Republic era would be cool to explore, it's gotta be done correctly. The production has to take itself seriously and act in a mature way and respect the audience. The trailer shows the exact opposite. As some fans commented, this looks like fan fiction or AI generated stuff. To be fair, the production level of Star Wars has dramatically fallen off in recent years. I mean, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show looked like a bad WB show from the late 90s. The Acolyte seems to be on the same level. Like with Marvel, Disney has no cohesive plan or strategy with Star Wars. The first three phases of the MCU were carefully and methodically planned out, but ever since Endgame we've gotten a jumbled mess heading absolutely nowhere. Kevin Feige even laughed off the fact that he had no plan. Nowhere was the lack of planning and strategy more apparent than with the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. With Episode 7, they basically did a rehash of A New Hope, but then it just completely flew off the rails with Episodes 8 and 9. Ryan Johnson introduced some possibly interesting plot points, but retconning a lot, only for J.J. Abrams to come back in and retcon what Ryan Johnson did. It was a jumbled mess that was basically the end of Star Wars as a franchise, and the lack of planning, strategy, and foresight is continuing on with all the Disney Plus releases. Kathleen Kennedy and her merry band of progressive morons wants to continue on with their same failed strategy of pushing the girl boss narrative. 
this time with Carrie Ann Moss at the helm. Well, that maybe we should go a different route than we did with Indiana Jones. Fuck Indiana Jones, put a chicken in it and make a name it gay! Listen, I know Trinity needs to put food on the table, but damn, she's stooping pretty low taking scraps from Kathleen Kennedy. But what do you guys think? Did you like the trailer to The Acolyte? And do you think that tapping into the High Republic era is the next way Disney will continue to destroy Star Wars? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.